so friends in previous tutorial we learned the different uh, widgets that is column and then we learned how to use row inside the column and column inside the row so now i'm going to discuss the other widget name that is expanded so for that i'm going to delete this body i'm going to remove this column from this body now we have app bar body and floating action button and inside the body i'm going to use the row widget and inside the row let's uh, create the other uh, widget named container let's make it container and then copy it and i'm gonna create three containers containers inside the row and inside the container i'm gonna use some properties of the container uh, first is padding and i'm gonna give the padding from all sides and let's make it 30 and then the other properties name color color start let's make it red and then the child and then child will be text and it will be one so we have now created the three containers and inside the container we are we have given the padding color and the child so i'm going to copy this and paste it in inside the other container because i'm go i'm not going to do the same thing again and again okay now i'm gonna change the color to let's make it amber and then let's make it pink accent right and change the text to two and then three right now let's reload it with r as you, as you can see the items are aligned in the row okay now let's make it a bit different from the app bar uh, let's make it purple okay it's ascent right now you can see these items these widgets are aligned in the row but also you can see there is the much space here in the row so what if you want these widgets to take this extra space and when the expanded widget come to an use so for that you can go to this uh, container you click here and you can see this bulb icon here you can click it and you can see in more access you can select wrap with widget so this widget i'm going to name it expanded and then i'm going to reload it and now you can see this one this container this container is taking all this available space but this uh, this container of text 2 and 3 are of same size you can see these are of same size so what expanded does it it, it makes the widget to expand up to the available space on the screen so similarly you can give the expanded widget to the other container also let's give it expanded and in the third one also i'm going to give the expanded and reload it and now these containers gonna take the equal space in the screen you can see of the width you can see these all are of the same size and there is not the empty space so what if you want this one container to be a bit large in width than two and three now so for that we can use the other properties of expanded that is flex okay let's give it to three and then the other container two to flex two and then the last container to flex one and let's reload it as you can see this one this container one container widget is is larger than this two and then this two is also larger than the three because we have given the flex property that is the flex property of this one is three and this this two container is two and then the this three container is one so what this flex is actually doing is that it is 
dividing this screen to the this size as, as you can see uh, the screen size we are dividing the screen size into 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 so this we are dividing this screen width into the sixth part and then we are assigning this the one widget to the three part of the screen that is 3 by 6 so it is taking the half size of the screen and similarly this uh, second container is taking the two sixth of the screen and this container 3 is taking the one sixth of the screen so we are seeing the different size of these widgets also you can uh, change this to let's make it 6 and then reload it you can see the size of this uh, one widget is a bit bigger and then you can see the 3 is smaller ok now let's make it 1 and reload it again ok you can see now we have divided our screen into 6, 7 and 8 parts that means we have divided the screen into 6 plus 1 plus 1 part that is 8 part of this width and in the 8 part of the width we have given the 6th part of 8 to the this text 1 widget this container and in the second container we have only given the only one part of the screen that is 1 by 8, 8 part of the screen and also same to the this container 1 by 8 part of the screen so this flex is used whenever you want to divide the screen into the certain parts and then you can assign your widgets uh, and give them the available width you want them to take so now other uses of uh, the expanded widget is you can uh, boundary the image or uh, other widgets inside its either width or size so for that i'm going to use the image that is set and let's give comma here okay so inside assets i'm going to use assets slash goomba dot jpg and when we reload it this image gonna take the all the available space and we cannot see this widgets and this image is going over the these widgets so we can also use it give the expanded widget to this child image and when you reload x yes. and this should work now right and let's reload it and you can see this image is taking the size and now you can see the image on the screen and other widgets also and for the better use let's make it to one and reload it as you can see now this image and these all widgets are taking the same space of the screen and similarly you can also give the flex property to this child image and flex let's make it two okay to make it a bit visible let's make it to three right now let's load it and you can see this image is taking the a bit more space than this other widget three four five six and it is taking the half size of the screen because the flex is three and we have the six part of the screen you can see 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 6 so this is the use case of the expanded widget and when using the image it restricts the image into the boundary of an widget and we can see this uh, image on the screen hopefully you got the ideas of how to use expanded in flutter and and you can walk yourself walk around with the other widgets also and don't worry if you haven't uh, understood it well we're gonna use it more and more when we're gonna build the project in this course 
and if you are li liking this course uh, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and share it to the friends thank you see you in next video